Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball repair video. If you haven't seen our other two Comet repair videos that we've done in this series, we are working on, go, go watch them now, but we are working on a Comet pinball machine. We're bringing it back from the dead. And in the first video, we got it to boot up. In the second video, we uh, swapped in a different play field because the original play field we had was so destroyed. And uh, so now we're at the point where we're going to clean and get the top of this play field looking as good as possible. So we figured we'd film a video of it for you. Because people love seeing that. So the link to the other two videos is below, but we're going to work through this thing. The first thing we need to do is take everything off the top of the play field, or most of the stuff. Hey, turkey! All right. We need to take all the stuff off the top of the video, I mean at the top of the play field, and uh, get it down to where most, as, as much as possible is exposed. And then we need to clean, 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 as good as we can. And then wax, 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 as good as we can. And then start putting all the pretty stuff back on it. So you can see how filthy this thing is. I mean, look at the freaking rubber rings. Rawr. What were they thinking? But we're going to get it looking much nicer. As you can see, we already did most of the stuff underneath it. We haven't done the flippers yet, but we still have to do that. Um, and we have new ramps. That's right, I said new ramps. Not the, not the middle one, but the corkscrew one on the left and the stunt cycle one on the right. Or super jump, or whatever they call it. Cycle jump. So uh, we, uh, we'll start cleaning it up. Or I guess first we'll take off the rest of the stuff and uh, we'll set it up and film most of it uh, and fast forward and see what you think.
All right, folks, so this is how it turned out with all of the stuff off of it. This is what we're starting with. You can see all the dust. The dust actually doesn't hurt it at all. It kind of protects it, actually. <laughs> so the, the dust and the, the filth doesn't really hurt it. Water hurts it, basically, and ball wear hurts it. So we've got a few issues with it. Up here, this is all mylar, so that'll probably clean up pretty good. In between here, though, looks a little rough. So the, the problem uh, that you worry about is flaking paint, if anything's going to flake. It actually seems like it's all still pretty... I don't feel any... I mean, you got little spots like that where something gouged it at one point. Um, it's actually pretty solid. You've got a couple little minor touch-up things like this that ain't no big deal. Um, so the two major spots that I see are right here. There's a clear ramp that goes here, but I think it's got a decal on it, so it'll hide some of that. But some of this is going to flake off. See all the alligatoring and everything on it? So whenever I go to clean that, some of that paint is going to come off like that. You know. So in a worst case scenario, I can repaint that the right color. But I'm going to check with the ramp to see if it covers it good enough that you can't even see it. If you can't see it, I won't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal though because this is all it's all supposed to be that color but I, you know that could be repainted the, the problem with this play field why we had to swap it from the other one um, is the other one had so much heavy wear up in here and it's all little tiny pieces of art little characters and stuff so that would be really hard to paint back in and so the other problem that this play field has is that it has mylar on it but they put mylar on it after the playfield started wearing. So these marks here are under the play, under the mylar. So the only way to clean that up completely, some of this is on top, so we'll be able to clean some of it. But the only way to get that perfect would be to take the mylar off. But the problem with that is, is when you lift the mylar, you can get it really hot or really cold and peel it off. But whenever you do that, sometimes it peels up the artwork like that. And so we might end up in a situation where it did the same exact thing to this play field. So typically I don't remove my alarm. I leave it on there. It sucks that they put it on after it got wear on it and that they didn't completely clean it. <sighs> but that's probably what kept it from getting as bad as the other play field. But so what we're going to do is we're going to clean it up as best we can and see if that's acceptable. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be nice and clean and look good and not have a ton of wear. So uh, you know from here, this part here with the wear, we're at, let's see, you're at playing distance now. You know, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. So, depending on how well it cleans up, if it cleans up pretty good, we're just going to leave it because this this mylar, like I said, it can be removed, but it it's a big big job, and you usually end up doing more damage than you um, than you're uh, trying to get rid of. So, we'll see. But we're going to have to get rid of all of this dirt first. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, just plain Windex and a rag and clean it. Now they tell you, no, oh, don't do that on a wood play field. Folks, whenever you got something this damn dirty, you got to do something. Liquid needs to go on this play field. You can't wax that kind of dirt off of a play field. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So I'm going to literally spray Windex on it and wipe it down. Um, you can, uh, you know, you, you, you want to be careful in areas like this. You don't want to go crazy with it, but we got to get all of this filth off of it. And once we get all that off, um, we'll come back and uh, show you the preliminary cleaning. Okay, folks, so we did our initial cleaning just to get the loose dirt off of it, basically. And you can see the difference between where the guy mylar and where he didn't, just the grime that's on it. So although he didn't get all of the dirt off before he mylar it, he got it looking decent. I don't think uh, I'll be able to get that any better than that. Um, and we did lose some paint there like we were talking about, but I looked on the other play field that's still pretty much populated and all of that is hid by the ramp, so it's not too big of a deal. Our worst spot is right here, but that'll be fairly easy to touch up. And then there's a little bit of wear right here around some of these gates that the customers come into the park through. 
so we uh, we got all the loose dirt off, so now we got to try to get some of the grime off. So the way we're going to do that is with some magic erasers. So basically, if you use a magic eraser and rubbing alcohol, um, you can clean a lot of this up. And the reason that that works is because what you're looking at here are little tiny cracks in the paint and that they're real fine so whenever you clean them with most things you can't get down inside the crack but a, a magic eraser is actually made of smaller particles so it gets down inside the crack so it's like minor sandpaper basically a magic eraser is basically sandpaper but it's really fine but if I sit here with a magic eraser and do this I'll rub right through the paint down to the wood eventually so you have to be very careful just use it a couple times and look blah 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 another thing is if your play field has any kind of like nice finish on it, like a, a, a gloss, whenever you use that, that uh, magic eraser, you're basically sanding it a little bit so you'll lose that gloss. So if you just do one little area, when you're done, that area will be dull and the rest of it will be glossy. Um, of course, you can wax that out and buff it out and stuff, but since this play field's so worn, it, it doesn't even matter. And just to go back to where we were, I'll show the play field again. I want to keep showing this play field. This is why we're doing all this, because this play field was destroyed. So, the one that we have in there is actually in better condition. Because it doesn't have that. So, I will start uh, cleaning up a little bit of it, and we'll shoot a little bit of that, but then uh, I'll come back whenever we get some of it ready, so that you can see uh, what kind of results we're getting. All right, folks, so we started using the magic eraser. You can see from, like, here up how it's uh, a little cleaner. And down here you can see that white haze on everything. That's like the, the little particles from the magic eraser. And you can see that it's cleaning up pretty good, but we've got some real problems under the light shield. So it keeps wanting to flake, like right there. And over here is really bad. Look at that. So I'm probably going to have to repaint some of that. Um, but the art is cleaned up pretty good. Now, if you look close, it never gets perfect. You can't get all of the dirt out of it. But from a distance, it looks pretty good. That's about the best you can hope for on some of these. Um, you can keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. But if it's got, you know, planking in it like this does, see the little cracks going all through it? It's just you're never going to get it perfectly clean. There's too many places for the dirt to hide in there. So you could repaint it and all that, but it... You know, and, and eventually you're kind of fighting against, uh, you know, this thing's not in mint condition. If I wanted it to be in mint condition, I'd spring and buy a brand new play field for it and brand new everything. Little stuff like that. Once we get all of the lights going, all of the plastics on it, the, the new ramps, everything doing its thing, you're not even going to notice little wear like that. So it'll, uh, it'll give it a little bit of patina, just the right amount. Now, the heavy wear like that... Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, I might mock it up with the posts and just see how much of it, and put the the ring on it and the the shield on it, and just see how much of it you can see. But you know, like that right there. I mean, you know, you can see that. So I'm probably gonna have to touch up some of that stuff. But uh, I'll keep going on it. I I did this. Uh, I'll set up the uh, camera. And we'll get on this a little bit, and you can see it in action uh, when you clean it. Just see how it how it works. So basically, we want to try to make that match that. All right, so we're going to get on it a little bit with our magic eraser. See if we can get any of that to clean up. That's how we're losing a little bit of paint where it was loose right there. The more I go with that it's going to uh, make it worse and worse and worse so you gotta be careful if you're at a place like up here where it can handle it you can go a little harder on it but... getting foamy as crap but you know that does match that, but we lost a little paint, so you got to be careful. You can't go crazy with it. We'll see if we can get this a little bit.
so there we are. You can see that basically it's it's pretty much matching on the yellow at least the wear that was under the mylar. We've got some we created some wear there that the paint's gone, but uh, it is what it is. So we'll keep working through the rest of it, and uh, I'll shoot what we end up with after that, and then uh, we'll figure out uh, what else we need to clean, and then we'll sit, figure out if we need to touch anything up. All right, people. So how many people have I lost? How many are still with me? So all of the surgery is over. You can look now. <laughs> So I stopped with the magic eraser after I magic erased everything. And now we've got all of this. We've still got dirt and places all over the place, little cracks and crannies here. And we've still got, now we've got all this white residue all over the play field. So now we're going to start clean, 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 cleaning again and get it as clean as possible. And then we're going to have to touch up some of the paint in a few, in a few places. So we've got the you know the the yellow parts under the light guards which is kind of strange that it did it in those areas this is actually where that ramp is more here um, and we've even got over here a bulb that burnt the play field because it was touching it so that shouldn't even be um, and then we've got minor wear and tear here and there that I'll have to touch up a little bit but you can see if you get really close to it it's still you know there's still plenty of wear on it. So you can't really get it perfect. You, you just basically you're lighting, you're lightening it. So um, we'll keep cleaning. And uh, whenever we get to places like this, the wax will help too. You know, wax actually cleans. So it'll make it a little better. But again, it's one of those things where up close it looks worse than it is. This uh, obviously is not going to be a collector's quality pinball machine because it wasn't taken very good care of in its lifetime um, so you know for for a game this vintage I, I believe Comet came out in 85 or 86 for a game this old this is kind of typical condition a lot of them are in this kind of shape now you could make it super super nice by buying a new playfield but a new playfield is going to be I think they're seven or eight hundred bucks if you can even get one and then you have to repopulate every single thing on the play field. You have to have a, at least a parts one like this to get the wiring harness off of and everything. So what we're basically doing is saving seven or eight hundred bucks. And a, I guess we wouldn't have to do the cleaning time that we're doing on this one if we had a brand new one. But that's a lot of money. Um, and the you know the thing's not in perfect shape to begin with. So. We're going to fix it up. This thing is going to look great. It's not going to look perfect, but it's going to play well, and it's going to look very presentable, and somebody's going to be very, very happy to have this in their home game room. So we'll uh, we'll keep cleaning and cleaning and cleaning, and uh, you can follow the progress. Okay, so we got most of the haze off of it and uh, vacuumed it again. And so this is kind of our starting point. So we're going to start... I think the first thing I'm going to try to do is mix up a paint that I keep turning the lights back on when I'm cleaning it the lights aren't on I'm just turning it on so that you can kind of get a little bit better picture of how it's going to look so it doesn't look quite so bad but uh, the first thing I'm going to do is try to match this yellow which actually started out as a white but it's all faded so much from the heat from the the, the uh, bulbs and all of that that it's now like a cream uh, uh, yellow color so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to match that a little bit the other problem with that though is that it's actually different colors in different spots so this is the same color originally as that but that's much more yellow you know so I'm gonna try to get a some sort of yellow going where I can I can touch up some of those spots where it's completely gone like right here and also I'm gonna try to ink back in some of the black lines that are uh, messed up like for instance up here um, and uh, touch up a couple little things like that make it a little bit more presentable and then uh, we'll be ready to start waxing this sucker okay folks so I spent a few hours and painted in some of the stuff that needed a little paint so I'll give you the bird's eye view does any of it look really bad from this, po <laughs> this position 
So I touched up a bunch of stuff. You know, we had the, the you know, the worst area was here in the middle where the paint was flaking off badly. So I just mixed a concoction of like cream with some yellow in it and repainted that whole area. And again, all of this is covered. All of those spots, the reason they don't have any art on them is because they're completely covered. But if you look at it kind of sideways through the ring, you see a little bit of it in the background. So if it's all screwed up and filthy and and uh, pieces of it flaking off, you can kind of see it, you know. So uh, I repainted that and this, because remember that bulb had burnt the play field, remember? So I repainted that, repainted this. I couldn't repaint this because it has art on it and it also has mylar under the pop bumpers, but most of that's covered, so it's not that big of a deal. I left this over here with a little bit of wear because all of that's covered, so uh, you won't even see it. I repainted the red touched it up a little bit. It's not a perfect match, but it's pretty decent. Um, I repainted a few areas of the green up here at the top where it was worn, but it was pretty minor, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, you can see we've got a ton of light bulbs burnt out and everything. You can see the paint and everything all over the light bulbs. The reason I leave those in is because if you take them out, you get trash down inside your light bulb sockets while you're working on it. So I always leave the old, old light bulbs on it till the very end. So I'll wax it even with all the old light bulbs in it. And if you saw the other video, you know that we've replaced, of course, all the light bulbs underneath it, which is why they're all running and doing their thing. So I think it's kind of getting there, folks. I also repainted under the two um, kickers. I still need to clean that one. Ugh. But uh, I think that'll look a lot better underneath the, the shields than it looked before. You can see over here I really went to town. <laughs> And you can see up here, I repainted those three in the middle too. All of them, were, you know, were just like this. So that's how it was. And this is how it is now. So, you know, this is definitely not perfect or anything like that. But, you know, really we're, we're working with a really worn game, you know. So we're trying to get it presentable again. And I think we're getting there. Here's the spot that I was showing close up before. I touched up the red a little bit. That looks like it's still faded, but it's not. See? Um, touched up the red a little bit, and I touched up the black. But, like, if you're doing one of these, look, I didn't even touch up the yellow. Because it's so minor, it's just not that big of a deal, you know? So, we're making a five-footer, people. <laughs> From five feet away, it looks great. So, we're getting there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, right before I leave, I'm going to uh, kind of spot clear coat it. So the way I do that is I, I take some clear coat in a can, and I clear just the places that I spray, that I uh, painted. You know, I'm not going to do the whole play field. If the the proper way to do it, and if, obviously we're not doing this high end, high end. We're doing this, uh, getting it uh, to players, uh, players quality. You know what I mean? But the proper way to do it is to get the play field perfect, and then you take it and you get automotive clear coat sprayed on it, and it makes it real glossy and super nice. But they weren't originally like that. Like originally, they were just wood with a little bit of a coating on it. And so that's how it's going to be. You know, now it's got mylar in the middle, of course, like we already talked about that. So you can't paint over mylar or anything. Um, so this is this is never going to be like a top end perfect play field. But I think we're in a hell of a lot better position than we were with that other play field that had all the all the wear in the middle. I'll show that one more time. You have to remember where you. You have to remember where you started at, people. <laughs> See all the wear on the, I mean, all of the dirt and the ball swirls there, too, you know? I mean, so basically, a lot of these old games, they look like that whenever you get them, so. We're in much better position now. So I'm going to spot clear coat a few of the places that we've painted, just so that I used acrylic paint to paint it. Basically, if you don't put any kind of clear coat on it, as soon as you wax it, that stuff's going to come off. The reason you use ac acrylic is because you can clean it off if you need to. So if you make a big mistake or you spill it on the play field, you can just clean it right up with water. It's real simple. Um, and also, it mixes really easy. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of clear coat in a can, and then I'm going to wax, wax, wax it. So I'll set up the tripod and show you whenever we wax it, and we'll bring a little bit of that color back. 
um, with the wax and it'll clean it a little bit more and then once we're done waxing we'll uh, we can uh, put the things back on it and get it where it's really starting to look like a, a pinball again okay folks so I'm gonna pour some wax on it now we use car wax you have to watch the kind you get though some of it we like this brand some of it you get though it leaves whenever it gets old it kind of yellows the play field um, but some of it doesn't and uh, we uh, we since we've cleaned 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 and magic eraser magic eraser magic eraser everything on the play field whenever we put the wax on we put it on thick so we're gonna put on a lot of wax because everything's been stripped off you know now on a this is an old machine so this thing needs all the help it can get now on the newer games uh, most of those had a uh, clear coat sprayed on them from the factory and it's it's just got a better uh, protective layer on it you don't need as much wax and most of them and you, you'll see a lot of videos where guys will have a you know a really nice newer machine and they're just touching up the wax and going around with a little rag and putting a little more here and you can barely even see it that's not what's going to happen here we're going to pour this crap on because as you've seen there's heavy wear we've done a lot of like repainting and everything it doesn't have a clear coat to protect it so we're gonna we're gonna put a lot of wax on it when, and whenever we put it on we like to use just a folded up paper towel you can't use like a a regular thin paper towel this is like one of those shop towel things um, and the main reason i use that instead of a rag is because i throw it in the trash after i'm done i don't like carrying around dirty rags with wax all over it so we are going to pour now the middle of this is mylard but we're going to wax that too we're just going to put wax on everything kind of pour it in you don't want to go crazy with it where you're making a big mess but on something like this where you've re uh did the whole play field like this and stripped it down and scrubbed it with a magic eraser where you know you've basically sanded off some of the finish anyway i mean we go heavy with it so like i said all of this on this part is on the mylar still but you know you're going to get it on every part of the play field and just go crazy with it and you can kind of tell we like to like leave it uh, dull for a few minutes while the wax kind of dries a little bit and then buff it off and we always do it by hand you can use a uh, orbital buffer and stuff but depending on you know whenever you're putting this much wax on it if you use an orbital buffer you're going to make the world's biggest mess that crap is going to go everywhere so if you want it on thick you kind of have to do it by hand and we like the wax you know if you're if you're touching up a play field you're doing areas where uh where uh the ball doesn't even you're, you're just doing the areas that the ball travels but on this one since we've redone everything we've even got new paint on parts of it we're trying to get wax on every single part of the play field um, whereas on a on a newer game or one that started out in better condition the wax presumably would already be on all of the areas that the ball doesn't touch And you can kind of, like if you let the light hit the play field a little bit, you can kind of tell where you've got wax and where you don't. What needs a little more attention and what doesn't. And then if you let it dry a little bit while you move on to another area of the play field, whenever you go back, um, you can buff it off and get that nice shine. And uh, if you kind of let the light hit the play field, you can kind of see where you've got wax and where you haven't and then what we'll usually do after we do after we go and wax everything by hand we'll go back and kind of redo it in the major areas like the the center areas and stuff where there might be a lot of wear we'll go back and put more wax on it now I don't know that I don't know that you can add wax to wax like once it's got wax on it I don't know if waxing it again makes it thicker or not but if you've got any areas where it's the wax didn't adhere or it's uh, thin or whatever if you do it twice I mean you're more likely to uh, get the wax everywhere you need it is that annoying you
kind of annoying me, but it's on the other side of the room. I can't go grab it. So wax, 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 wax. And once, once I get all the wax on and then kind of buff it all off to where it's nice and clean um, and we got a good shine, I can go ahead and swap the uh, these old nasty light bulbs that are still in here. But if you swap the light bulbs first, you're going to get wax all over your light bulbs or paint even. <laughs> So that's, uh, at least we've got wax on everything. I'll turn the camera a little bit so that you can see like an area with some light shining on it while I, while I buff it so you can see what happens whenever the, uh, um, you buff the, the dullness off. Okay, so I'm not sure how well this will turn, off, turn out, but I'm going to uh, buff that area and see if we can get it to shine a little bit. see it a little bit you can see the uh, the light reflecting off of it but basically when you get a nice shine to it I don't know if you can see that let me take the camera off try one. there we go all right see the shine there so basically that's what you want you want the light to reflect right off the thing just from wax not from clear coat or anything so you can see how you're getting a little bit of that sheen back. That's what you want. You want it all over the play field. And it'll make, uh, whenever you get your nice light bulbs on it, it'll make everything pop and all of the uh, lights reflect off the play field like they should. And it'll make it look great. So we're going to keep doing that and just by hand, wax, 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 everything on the play field. And then we'll swap out all the light bulbs and we'll take one last little peek at what it looks like before we start putting it all back together. Okay, so this is where we ended up with the wax on it and all of the light bulbs replaced. Check it out. Very cool. I think it's starting to look pretty clean, people. Look at that sheen on the play field. You see it? And that's on the Mylar. It's even Mylar always gets a little uh, a little dull because it scratches. You see the play field? Look at that. Uh, very cool. And you can see the... Uh, See the lights reflecting off the, the paint on the play field like that? That's what you want. You want it to look like that. So this thing is going to look great. Let me see. I'll turn off the lights. It's not really dark out. But with the lights off, you'll probably be able to see it a little better. Look at that, people. See the reflection? Starting to look like pinball. And you know what makes it even better is this really is a fun game. Comet is a fun game. So it's really going to come together pretty good. Won't be perfect, but decent. Now, by the time uh, you see this video, we will probably have this thing ready to go, but we've got other videos coming. I'm going to do a video where I show how to, where we put everything back on the uh, play field and, uh, repopulate it all and we're going to do it in like fast forward so that you can say, see from beginning to end because it takes hours and hours and hours so you can see from beginning to end as we put each little post on and each little piece and get it just right and blah 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 blah, blah. and after a while we'll have the whole thing ready to go I keep pointing up there because we've got this super cool ramp that we're putting in up there to replace the original one um, but uh, so we'll have another video of us putting the entire play field back together um, and I believe we've already got a video on here of us playing a Comet, the last one that we had in. We've still got a little bit of stuff to do in the back box, of course, like, you know, get the displays to work um, and the flash lamps and some things like that. But uh, we, uh, we're almost done with it. 
but we're going to order some parts and get that play field looking really nice but we'll film a video of us putting the whole play field together leave your comments below let us know what you think about the video and what let you uh, let us know what you think about our progress so far again we're not trying to represent it as a collector's quality or a brand new one but i think this thing's really going to look nice whenever we're done so leave your comments below give us a thumbs up for taking all the trouble to film it for you and uh, we will see you on the next video